Hi Cancer, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Cancer, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Cancer. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Emperor, and this is Aries energy. So this is an energy of someone who is showing up in their divine masculine. This is someone who is um, wanting to be in charge. They want to take the leadership role. This is someone who they have a vision and they do want to kind of execute. This is someone who wants to be that dominant energy here. Um, but it's in a healthy way since the emperor is in the upright here. Um, but we are seeing, you know, a bit of a set kind of energy with this kind of, um, with this card. Um, we are also seeing someone here who... Who doesn't give up easily you know this is someone if you've planted roots with this person they will fight for you they will fight for the connection this is not someone who who gives up or lets go easily okay so let's see okay we have the ten of wands in the reverse fire energy the knight of pentacles earth energy and the king of swords air energy so if you gave up on this person or you you did you distanced yourself from the connection there is an energy of this person um coming towards you they may have been taking their time, but there's an energy of them slowly making their way towards you um, because they, they're they ready and willing to step up. You know, with the Ten of Wands, that can be an energy of a one-sided connection. You may have felt a bit alone in the relationship, um, you know, because this person may have had their way of doing things and they may not have been very considerate of your way of doing things. Or, you know, there's something here about a lack of support, feeling like, um, someone isn't able to meet certain needs. Um, at times, the emperor can even be someone who's not very good with like emotions, but we're seeing someone who's ready to be more compassionate towards you. Like they're, they're wanting to step up for the sake of this connection. Um, with the Knight of Pentacles, they, they've been moving towards you very slowly, but very intentionally. Um, this is someone who wants to address things. They want to put up boundaries. They want to discuss the this um the state of the relationship, you know, almost like wanting to define it. Okay, so let's clarify these cards, Cancer. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Cups, and this is Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio Energy. So yeah, this is someone who, who's looking back at their experience, their relationship with you, and seeing all the ways in which they could have done better. You know, this is someone who has some regrets. They do want to make certain changes. They want to step up. You know, this is someone who, um, if you distanced yourself from them, that really broke their hearts. Like this is someone who was in pain, in despair over you. Um, but we're seeing them, you know, kind of helping them, their situation, you know, because sometimes the five of cups can be someone who's like crying over spilled milk, uh, having a pity party. This is someone who doesn't want to stay there. They want to at least try to turn the situation around. Okay, so let's see. Okay, we have the three of wands, fire energy, the moon in the reverse, Pisces energy, and the four of wands, fire energy. So they still want this four of wands with you. They want that stability. They want growth, expansion, um, a secure relationship. They want to define this relationship. You are showing up as their wish fulfillment, like you're their ideal partner. And this person may want to be more like this person may have been had a more of a tough exterior when they dealt with you they may want to kind of show you uh their more vulnerable side they there's something about them showing you a softer side of them more compassionate more emotionally honest and deep um because this person does it, it, there's something about that this connection really having deeply 
touched them, moved them, um, possibly even changed them to some degree. Um, and with the Three of Wands, they're, they're still hopeful for this connection. They want that growth expansion. And the distance between you guys, whether it's physical or emotional, it really does bother this person and they do want to bridge that distance like they want to be close again they want stability and security when it comes to this relationship okay so i'm gonna pull out an oracle card for you Sag um, cancer Okay, we have a time to give rather than take. New moon in Virgo. Okay, we have love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Okay, so this person is recognizing the ways in which they may have disrespected you or just not have honored you, not have appreciated what you were giving. Okay, so let's see. Okay, we have prosperity and compassion. Prosperity depends more on wanting what you have than on having what you want. So there is, again, this person may have taken you for granted. It's like they didn't appreciate what you were bringing to the table. There is something here about not seeing something or not having enough compassion, not being emotionally um, mature or emotionally available, uh, being too logical or set in their ways that they overlooked things like emotion compassion sincerity you know that that, that side of them and they they want to make it a point to show you that side that they have that side okay so i'm gonna pull out a card for your advice cancer So we have surrender fear let go of the fearful stories you are telling yourself stay in the moment focus on solutions and celebrate every baby step forward okay so that's what i'm seeing for you cancer i hope you have a really really good day cancer bye cancer